And here we go. Today we did some painting, some ceramic tile, and we're on our way towards completion. This is the hall, and the hall from another view. Okay, to the famous octagon powder room. Joe's come by and grouted that room. There's some unique shapes here. It's hard, without a wide angle lens, you can't quite pick it all up. The other unique angle. These angles are these built-ins we made. There's gonna be glass tops put on here. Okay, now this is from the junk room back out, the utility room back out to the main great room. The other built-in on the left side looking down the hall. Once again the great room. There's some built-ins that James just made. There'll be four doors on that one here on either side of the triple door. We didn't finish the bottom doors yet. I'm going to put a uh, diamond-shaped handle on it on the four doors. The corner where the TV will go, I'm back near the fireplace looking out. We built these soffits for the heating ducts. And just again, everything was painted today. To the main door again. That's where the triple Pella door is here. We have this little built in. You could zoom in on this. Customer wanted to make most use of the space and came up with this little unique design over the door. It's just a wasted space and now we're going to backlight it with some strip lighting. This should be a nice little feature. There we've hidden a heat and air duct plus a uh, sewer cleanup with this big return cover which just makes it look like a normal return in any air conditioned home. So we get two birds with one stone. Now we get to the fireplace. Customer picked out this granite tile. It's pretty nice stuff. Fireplace. I can pick up the tile yet. It still needs to be grouted. Large cavity. It's going to be another built in. The same white uh, from Mica type material and it's going to be a double like a uh, trophy case with glass doors this time instead of the um, white doors that you see over here. You can see the, uh, the shelves inside. It's a pretty nice storage. There's a little shadow on the bottom because of the step up in the foundation. Come out of the great room again, back through the hall into the octagonal powder room. I'm going to try walking with this thing. And now we're going to enter the uh, guest bedroom suite. This room looks kind of a mess now, but James was here spraying this other wall unit, this other built that he made. The customer wanted like a lacquer look. So that's what you see here. I'll get a better shot in a sec. But um, that has to be finish coated, and then we'll paint the rest of this room. As you can see, it's a nice size room. It's got windows. This room is like level. Actually, it's above ground. So it's not a basement feel at all. The shot of the built-in. It's going to have doors on the bottom with the open cavities here for a stereo TV. I stepped on some kind of hose. And this kind of caddy corner for that one to reciprocate the other unit. It's all tied into one unit. And this just is another piece that customer wanted lacquered, so it'll match the rest of the furniture view from the built-in out. Again, just to show the, the size of the room. Did a lot of duct work up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it with all the lighting, but um, it's qu it gets quite complicated. But we did have to install all the heating and air ducts, the intercoms, the vacuum. And again, this is the back side of the octagonal powder room. So we get the beauty of the angles in this room, which is from bedroom we have an open counter with a little vanity area, it's going to be mirrored, 
and then we get into the guest bath which is just being tiled now I hope the camera picks it up this is pretty nice this is a porcelain trim in here and it's quite nice quite expensive it's pretty stuff okay I'm not supposed to walk on this for 48 hours so I'll stay out here this is going to be a little built in we had to build this thing just to enclose the tub and also had a another access for clean out on the main plumbing wire decided on a magazine rack here the customer had Marty in mind when they said magazine rack and we're probably going to put some kind of little room divider shelf up in here we figure we'll step some shelves up stepping on a tile that I'm not supposed to be on and a little stall shower and tiling above it go from the bedroom looking out towards the main hall now we're going to go back to the octagonal room hard with this camera to pick this up but you can see the straight wall in the back the toilet will be off of one of the shorter the smaller angles and the sink back here will be a pedestal type sink everything's going to be uh, like a silver gray with this blue gray tile it's going to be pretty nice at least the vacuum cleaner enclosed it they have a central vac system and the noise is unbearable so we're trying to do some sound deadening we're going to close it and use this corrugated material that goes in.